Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here for another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if the Cortana speech to text is not working properly. So we're going to go over a couple of different methods on how to hopefully resolve this problem for you guys. So the first thing we're going to do is head over to the start menu and we're going to open it up. Then you want to type in speech. It should be something that says Windows Speech Recognition right above Desktop App. You want to left click on that. It might say welcome to speech recognition. Click on next. You want to make sure you have your audio device hooked up. So let's just say headset. Click on next. Make sure it's placed so you can properly use it, how it should be able to be detected. And we can see that it's been detected right here. So it says after reading this, you can proceed to the next page. Click on next. Microphone is ready to be used with this computer. Click on next again. You can also improve speech recognition by enabling document review. So we're going to do that. We're going to use manual activation mode, I guess. Click on next. So I'm going to skip the tutorial there. So that's a good place to start, to be honest. The next thing I would recommend doing would be to go back to the star menu and open it up. Now you want to left click on the gear icon right above the power icon. When you hover over it, it should say settings. You want to left click on that. So now in the settings window, what you want to do is left click on where it says time and language, right here. Underneath the speech button, right here, left click on that. You want to make sure underneath choose your language to speak with your device, it's set to the right language. You can select your voice through here. You want to make sure again that your microphone is all set up, which it should have been based on what we just did. You can also go back underneath time and language again. Go underneath region and language right here. If you have to add another language, you can do so by clicking on this plus button and then left click on add a language. So now we can backtrack here a little bit. Go back to the system tile, top left. Left click on this apps and features button. You want to left click on where it says manage optional features right underneath apps and features at the top right on this right panel here. If there's anything that says text to speech or speech recognition, especially speech recognition, you want to click on it and then click on manage. You want to make sure that it's set. If it's not, you want to install it. So you can click on this plus button to add a feature. So you want to make sure that this has been installed and then you can click on manage. If you have to add another language, you can do so right through here. And then underneath the speech button, again, we already went through this. You can preview the voice, make sure the microphone is set up. And I mean, you guys should be pretty much good to go from this point. And you can always go back into the start menu, click on that, type in Cortana. The best match that comes up should say Cortana and search settings. You want to left click on that. You can also access it through the star menu as well, but we want to make sure this stuff is enabled. So if you want to enable the Cortana response, if you say, hey Cortana, you can turn that on right here. I recommend you do that if you plan on using Cortana. You can even use Cortana when your device is locked. You're allowing Cortana to speak every once in a while, is that basically that option. You can choose the language in which Cortana speaks, and currently there's only a few different variants of English that are available on this version of Windows. And then you can also change Bing settings and so forth, but you just want to basically start from there. And then you can also click on this little microphone button to start talking, and Cortana should hopefully be able to pick up on what you're saying. So I hope that this brief tutorial... So I'm going to close out of that because I don't want to overhear that. But, I mean, I think you guys pretty much get the point. I hope at this point that you were up and running and this tutorial was of assistance to you. And as always, thank you for watching, and I will catch you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.